guys, what's going on? This is the Colossus Coders here. So this is just a little short introduction to what the game loadout is and uh, what I'm going to do with it. So when you start up the game, this is what you're going to see. Uh, fairly simple, um, quite clean and I like the animation of it. You're going to have the home screen which leads to, oh, well, this the start screen, which it is now. You're going to have the fight uh, category or the bottom here, which lets you choose between casual gaming, competitive gaming and soon coming custom games. Actually competitive doesn't work right now, so if you play this you'll play an unranked game just like the casual games. Uh, under the casual game you can play versus humans or you can play with the, uh, your, your party to play with, against bots. Under weapon crafting we have the crafting menu, simple as that. Here, my, here is my weapon that I have created, uh, I'm, I think I'm level 10 or something like that and then you upload, uh, uh, upload. then you unlock uh, more uh, slots uh, uh, when you upgrade your levels or when you're leveling up more to say. So this is my sniper, my <laughs> lovely sniper which I spend a lot of bloots on. Bloots are the blue ones you see down here on the right corner. Uh, bloots are the currency for upgrading weapons and um, skill trees on the tech tree. We will come to that in a bit. So and under the snipe rifle uh, you can see that it's a rifle rank 1 on the top. Here you can choose between rifle, the launcher, the pulse and the beam rifle. Here you can create your own weapons and choose whatever you feel like using. So for instance if I like um, my rocket launcher here. I want a rocket launcher. Then I choose the launcher type. I choose this, the stock shit. It's behind here. So yeah, I can change that. Uh, I'm, I'm using for this loadout, I'm using laser guided system. Which let me yeah guide my rockets. Uh, I'm using a penta barrel, and you can see here I'm using it for a high fire rate of uh, high, high high rate of fire and uh, medium damage. I was planning on buying the hexa barrel, but uh, for me penta barrel works just fine. And for all this, we can have a trigger. We can set it to all these kind of stuff, so we can fire one at a time, or we can full, uh, fire all five of them after each other. You have uh, ammo and uh, extra, what to say, extra stuff to it. <laughs> I don't know what to say really. Yeah, but you can choose like if you want a Tesla damage or when you want a health, uh, yeah, health rockets. You can have it or Pyrox. I haven't unlocked this yet, but we will get to that in a minute. So every, all of these things, like if you want to upgrade a bio scanner, you see it that it costs two thousand two hundred and forty blutes. Then I have to have those blues available. Now I have 98 because I just bought my final uh, thing to the sniper. If you go under the tech tree, see if it loads up here, uh, you can see that under every every category, like under rifle, I have like if they call, look at the slug, I have spec to so it have the pyro. I can uh, or. Uh, have uh, like uh, burning damage to my shots. I also have a Gatling gun turret, and uh, if you have a okay, turret, a Gatling gun attachment. If you upgrade these once, you will have them like forever <laughs> on the rifle class. I don't think I have it on the launcher though, the Gatling shit. Maybe I don't know. But uh, when you upgrade one of these, you, it becomes available for every new weapon crafting. And it's quite a lot, actually. So, um, if I want to upgrade my grenades on, on part of the beams, I can go to equipment. And uh, here I can have a deployable turret, I can have a shield, and a hand grenade. And a hand grenade you can spec further, so you can have, you see, Tesla healing buff and fire grenade. Under the loadouts, it's quite simple. You choose your loadouts um, under my derpy here. I have my sniper and a beam rifle. This uh, works like if I hit one shot with my sniper and miss the other, I can always shoot with my beam, and uh, that will o uh, 
either burn them or just kill them directly. And uh, under other I have my Gatling fire gun and my laser guided rockets. Under Outfitter we have our three different characters. Uh, I think there will be more. I don't really I'm not really sure about that, but I think there will be. Um, so this is called Axel, T-Bone and Helga. I renamed my to Foley just because I thought it was <laughs> clever. You can go under Customize and here you can do whatever you feel like. These cost uh, this kind of money. Space bucks. And this is the in-game currency, so to say. I haven't bought any yet, but uh, I think I will in a later time. See, I have the red hair with the bandana. I can go with none. So, we have a different taunts here. Um, so that also cost money, but uh, th these aren't necessary to uh, keep you progressing. So if I'm gonna save that. We have a locker. Here you see the statistics of. Um, uh, yeah, well, this is my statistic. Uh, you will see uh, every. This is the summary. So you will see the summary of your kills, assists, score per minute, and so on. Uh, we also have the statistics uh, which uh, show, yeah, everything you played. Like it shows you. I think it. Yeah, higher we weapon crafting. Total time spent in weapon crafting. Five minutes. I think it's more, but uh, that's what it says here. Then we have avatars. These are is, this is the avatar that the, the, the other people see you. Um, yeah, we can take this. If I choose this, uh, yeah, okay, I haven't. Uh, we will have it next to to next to our name, both in lobby and in the friends list, which I will talk about in two seconds here. Yeah, so um, I think I'm going to get on with uh, have uh, what's this bot? No, no. No, it doesn't really matter. We can uh, take hammer time. So we looked at these things now. We, we all we have left is a store, but I showed you that a little quickly. Um, this is the space box uh, apartment, so to say. Uh, you can check uh, for boost here. You can check for different loadouts and guns and uh, stuff like this. Also avatars. Nothing special really. Then we have this credits. <laughs> well, it's just credits. Nothing more. We have managed friends, and if I open this, we will see that uh, I have one friend online, and he is uh, currently in we weapon crafting. Uh, we just add friends, then we have here send message, remove friend, or invite to party if we are under fight. We have settings, which is quite simple actually. A good thing there that they're cloud synced. I really love that. So if I save one setting here, we don't, we will have it on the next one as well. We have the gamma correction, aspect ratio, screen resolution, screen resolution good things, uh, quality, high to low, uh, yeah, I'm using high because it looks pretty. Display mode, full screen, uh, this has actually been quite bugged for me because I'm using two screens, but I don't think it will be a big problem. We have vertical sync, I disabled that, we have show FPS, I kind of need to have that for me. Color by mode, this is just, I, I want to have it. Uh, it's uh, it's a personal thing, I, I need to have that. Field of view, um, yeah, nothing special about that. Field of view, the view that you can see when you're playing a game. Uh, under game, we have uh, gore, nudity and profanity. Uh, I think actually these were set on by default, I think so. Uh, I don't really know. But that is language, uh, region, tutorials, I can turn it off, name tag. I don't know what the, this will be in the future, but I really hope that it will be like clan tags or something similar to that so I can represent uh, my own team. We have controls with the camera sensitivity, controller stick sensitivity and camera acceleration. Uh, we also have double tap to roll, dive roll or sprint. This is like, um, I'm actually going to set that on right now. Um, when you double tip like the double w WASD keys, you will uh, uh, dive in, uh, automatically in that direction you tap. Inverted, uh, they will toggle aim down sight, control the rumble. Actually, this is um, this. Key bindings, we have that we can play with an Xbox controller. Um, 
I haven't tried that yet, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, so I don't really know that. Um, equipment, we have the normal things. Uh, previous weapon. Actually, I'm going to clear that because I already had one. Thank you. There, save that. And, with the, and uh, the last thing we have is audio. The one thing I miss here, I don't, I don't think it's camera sensitivity or control stick sensitivity because that would just be weird. But I have a little problem with the mo mouse sensitivity. Uh, I don't really know what that's about, but I want to lower lower mine and possibly remove smoothing of mouse if uh, that's enabled by default. But here's the, yeah, the normal things. I disable the music because I'm not really a fan of it. <laughs> So that's that. Uh, when you're going to fight some th later on, then you can play on casual versus human or bots. You can pick humans, you can create a party, and then we can add a party me member from our list that we have. So uh, we're going to die right into a game with the blue spot here, um, and uh, I'll start it right up. <laughs> 